Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Ben Amun. A lot of people pronounce this as Ben Amun. That would be incorrect. It's it's, it's Ben Am A H. <laughs> as uh, if, if you were spelling it out, it'd be A H um, hyphen M O O N. So Ben Amun. Um, I, I will point out really quickly, th this jewelry is a little bit tricky to price because there's a lot of mid-range jewelry, relatively little low-end jewelry, and then there are some high-end pieces. So we're going to look at the last three years first, and um, then we'll look at the last 90 days. So that'll give you kind of um, a better idea of what has been happening. This is the most expensive thing that I found. Um, so they got $500 for this. It's, uh, you know, faux pearls and I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, it's probably resin. Um, ben Amun began making costume jewelry in 1980, I believe. Uh, they described this as Byzantine, which is basically ancient Roman influence. This this comes in and out of style and has for like over a thousand years. Uh, and basically it's just large rhinestones with intricate detail, usually big, chunky, and regal, and uh, has an antique look and design to it, if, if that helps. Um, 24 karat gold plate is almost no measurable amount of gold, but not everybody knows that. Some people just think, oh, there's, there's 24 karat gold on there, not quite understanding what the plate is. Uh, we can't click on this one, so we're going to keep going. Anyway, that was that sold for $500. Uh, this went for $475, and um, they're just, you know, fake stones. Uh, I, I, I think in the last videos we saw that there was a Byzantine revival. Some jewelry was referred to as Byzantium. And um, when you see the red, green, blue stones like that in gold, that usually, that can be an indication of it. But um, anyway, $475 for that. So we'll start here and then we'll kind of get into the lower end. So any substantial piece probably will go for a little bit more. They went as far as to call that coral, which I guess I, I would agree with, um, $400 for that. Again, we can't click on it because it was a little bit too long ago. It's actually quite nice. Um, do not use the word ruby in your description unless they are actual rubies. They will take your listing down. You can get um, suspended or banned for calling something a ruby when it is not. Um, you cannot say sapphire blue, you cannot say emerald green, you cannot say ruby red. You cannot call something a diamond if it's not a diamond. Um, you'll get in big trouble for that. Um, so that's quite interesting. Uh, layered chains, multi-chains are popular right now. And um, we went through, that went for $375. They described it as Bohemian. Oh, and Byzantine. And Baroque. It's just, it's everything here. Um, we went through a period where jewelry was very simple and kind of timeless. And around 2018 or so, we started to see like big, chunky jewelry coming back in, statement necklaces. Not that those aren't available all the time, but uh, you just started to see it becoming more of a trend um, and this is a really good way to get in trouble calls right emerald ruby and sapphire <laughs> all at one time um, but that is quite nice they actually referred to it as jewels of india it does kind of look like that bollywood jewelry that you see um, and that went for 360 dollars uh, let's maybe just take a couple looks here, that is quite a surprise. I often get those coin necklaces and I usually have to throw them away. Um, let's see, and I wanted to look at this one really quickly. And can you imagine wearing that on your neck? <laughs> I, I'm thinking that that's probably about the size, but 
as rare as it was it went for you know two hundred and eighty dollars so that's a, kind of about the top range um, over a three-year period uh, if we look at the last 90 days it does drop down quite a bit but um, keep in mind when you search the eBay sold listings everybody's listings might look different just because uh, if you're signed in it's kind of hard to know what the eBay algorithm is going to choose to show who generally the results should be somewhat the same um, but this is the highest selling item within the last 90 days so it it is quite nice I think that they said this was new yeah they said it was new with tags although um, oh there is a tag right there and it looks like that um, the reason why we're doing Ben Amun today is because I actually found a piece and it looks new, but it's black enamel, like a black enamel chain floral. It's kind of simple. looks like it came straight out of a Chinese factory. does not look like a Ben Amun item. Um, so what's curious here is that if that did not have the tag on it, oh... Can you see that? Let me move this over. Um, let's do this. It's right... Right there. So that that is marked on the inside. All right, we're going to continue on anyway. So when you see the strike through a price like this, that uh, generally means that a lower amount was paid. So it says uh, best offer accepted, which means we really don't know uh, how much it went for and we're never going to it is possible that the buyer countered with the original amount and that that is what was paid but I, I really don't think so you know I wonder if we can kind of get an idea you you might be able to surmise that the price is over hundred and eighty five dollars but I, I'm telling you that that's not always how it works so we just kind of have to do the best that we can I did want to look at this um, I would describe this as a scutcheon, and the, anything like that can go for big money right now. Even unsigned jewelry in this uh, type of design can go for you know a hundred dollars. Um, but let's see if we can get a better picture of the rhinestone. They referred to it as high dome. Uh, it doesn't necessarily. Let's change this here. Gosh, Mommy Loves Michaela. I see her quite often in these high prices. She must have gotten some really good jewelry from somewhere, although she has been doing this for a while. Um, yeah, I guess those are pretty high dome. Look at that. Well, if it would stay on there. There we go. That's quite interesting. Imagine wearing that to a party. <laughs> Just not... It's very pretty. Um, just not sure in what type of venue that would be appropriate, um, but I do I do like it. Uh, we'll just take a look at a couple other things. Um, I wanted to show you this. Um, so keep in mind when we look at the available inventory and this is sold. So when you see these numbers that are out here. That is usually um, lots of jewelry, uh, which is why they're so high. However, if the, there are no lots of jewelry, we can also get some information from here when we see that best offers were taken, right? So um, if there's a limited supply of like high-priced inventory, sometimes you can come in here and just kind of move this around to see what those numbers might be. Um, but I would say the vast majority of the jewelry is selling in between 30 to $75. Whoops. E25. Okay, okay. $20 to $75. So there's quite a bit less on the low end. So don't underprice your Ben Amun. And we are already nine minutes in, so we're just going to scroll a little bit. And um, th these earrings went for $180, probably because um, they're they're new. And then uh, Swarovski crystals were used as well. And you can see some of these pictures; they don't have very good lighting, and it doesn't seem to affect 
the sale. It doesn't seem to affect the price. That's that's quite interesting. I bet that that's straight out of the 90s. Dur during the 90s, you'd see big stars on clothing and all kinds of other stuff. Um, you know, that's kind of interesting. We might come back and click on that in a second. But you can see we quickly fall out of the $250 range. Um, so I did see a few listings that said um, that it was 1960s Ben Amun. I personally don't think that that is possible. But if you know something that I don't, I would appreciate it if you would leave a comment. <laughs> and then I will know. Um, But oh, that's, that's kind of interesting. We'll take a look at this one and then we'll try to kind of wrap it up. If you found this video informative, I would appreciate it if you would click the like button. I'd, I would love to get to 500 subscribers. So if you've been here before and you haven't subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you do. I would really like to get the uh, silver award from YouTube for having 100,000 subscribers, but I know that I'm, I'm, I'm far away from that. Let's take a look at what the video is that will load in the... So just kind of take a look and see what they did for the video because we don't really get to see those very often. I've actually tried to upload videos on my phone and it doesn't work. I think I have to do it on my computer. Maybe it isn't going to work. Oh, there we go. That's kind of neat. You can buy this little self rotate display. And I don't know if that's really. And then there's a little selfie light reflect in the, <laughs> in the rhinestone. I don't know if this is really doing anything for me. I think I'd rather have the photographs of the specific angles that I need and not to just kind of watch something go around endlessly like that. But anyway, I would appreciate it if you would leave a comment. If you're still here at the end of the video, I would really love it if you would drop a smiley face for me in the comments. And until next time, I will see you guys on the next video.